The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. How at risk is the United States for a major earthquake on the scale of what we're seeing now in Chile? Well, Jim, this is a, a very important time for all Americans to take a look at how prepared we are for an earthquake. The bottom line that we're seeing coming out of Chile and Haiti is that once we factor out the depth of the earthquake, the magnitude of the earthquake, and the proximity to population centers, a citizen of Chile had a 400-time better chance of surviving their earthquake than did a citizen of Haiti. And I think that the goal of all Americans should be that when an earthquake strikes American soil, we should have an 800-time better chance of surviving the next earthquake to strike American soil. And that should be because we are better prepared, just like the Chileans were better prepared for their earthquake than were the Haitians. And Andre, we have a map uh, showing some of the earthquake prone areas here in the U.S. And let's throw that up on the screen there. You can see the West Coast obviously is is, uh, you know, uh, very much at risk for a direct hit from a major earthquake. And then there's that blob in the middle of the country around Memphis. Uh, I was a local reporter in Tennessee, so I know all about that. Uh, and folks uh, in the Midwest talk about that from time to time. But really, the major concern is along the West Coast and up in Alaska. Uh, Andre, uh, can, you, can you pinpoint with any accuracy uh, as to which areas folks should be most concerned about? Well, it's very difficult to predict, you know, the exact location of the next earthquake. However, uh, what is very important, and I think that the earthquake in Chile demonstrated that, is the enforcement of building codes is extremely important to improve, you know, the likelihood of survival, uh, as Marsha has just mentioned. Uh, Chile is a country where, uh, you know, building codes have been enforced uh, very strictly. And you could see that although there has been, you know, significant damage and unfortunately loss of lives, uh, there's also very a good success story. Now here in the United States, obviously, uh, the uh, earthquake issues have been concentrated on the West Coast for good reasons. I mean, there's been many earthquakes in California, obviously, and uh, in the California uh, region, uh, enforcement of building codes, also development of new technologies um, has certainly uh, been a, a big factor. However, we also have to think about other issues of existing building, and that's perhaps, or uh, older building, I should say, mm -hmm. and that's perhaps one of the problems that we'll be facing in the United States, right. particularly east of the Rockies, where we have several older buildings, masonry buildings, and so on, that have been built prior to the implementation of these building codes, right. and these buildings could be particularly at risk. And Marsha, every year civil engineers come out and talk about how our infrastructure is failing in this country. You talked about building codes. You talked about our infrastructure. Is there a connection there? Should we be concerned about the, the state of our bridges and tunnels and so forth in this country when it comes to earthquakes? Well, I believe we should take a look at our infrastructure because uh, we saw in the Loma Prieta earthquake that uh, failing overpasses did cause many deaths. And it's not only the risk to human life, but it's also the economic disruption that is caused in the days, weeks, and months afterwards when we can't get our economic engine moving again because we can't get our transportation going again. So I think uh, it's time to take an assessment of how robust our um, bridges, our highways are to the, uh, to the damage that would be caused by a major earthquake. And Andre, I know we can't pinpoint with any accuracy as to when or where the next earthquake might strike, but there, there have been recent studies done, one out in California, that indicated that along the West Coast, we should expect to see a major earthquake uh, in the magnitude of perhaps what happened down in Haiti uh, within the next 30 years. Well, definitely. I mean, the, the, the magnitude that occurred in Haiti certainly can occur, uh, you know, any time in, in California. Uh, however, uh, again, in Haiti, what, what is a learning experience for us is this is a region where earthquakes have not happened in a long time. Um, the last earthquake that struck Port-au-Prince was in the 18th century, around 1750. And over there, of course, you know, there's absolutely no concern about seismic design at all. And this is a lesson for us to some extent where we also have region in the United States, if we think, okay. you know, the, the uh, Midwest, Eastern United States, also to some extent the Pacific Northwest, where earthquakes have not occurred in a long time mm -hmm. and we may not be, you know, as prepared as we think we are.